<laughs> That's going to be your tracker collar, you crazy bud. Today, we will be reviewing the Whistle Go Explorer. And Falco's already getting started trying to open the package. Now we have his collar here for the tracker, and then we will see what's inside. You ready to get started? All right, bud. And Falco's already opening the collar, so he's already getting started with that. And I am opening this. So, as you can see, play harder, adventure farther, live happier together. He's already got the collar open. <laughs> Don't you <laughs> give it to me. Okay, you can see how cool this collar is. And he's just after the cardboard box at this point. Hey, hey, relax. So, we have here the collar. As you can see where you have uh, the tracker slides in. As you can see here, twist and go collar. High vis green. Go. Then we have here the actual uh, tracker here. So this is the ultimate health tracker plus location for pets. You can see it's uh, pretty small, and that's exactly where it would twist on to the collar. I'll show you an example here. So there's the collar. There's the twist. You would put it like this. You can get it. There we go. And then twist it. So that's it. And that's the collar. It'll slide onto Falco, the crazy husky. <laughs> and uh, we'll go ahead and get the app started to show you exactly how this works. Now you do need to charge it at first as well. You also have some uh, pamphlets inside here, uh, some instruction manuals on how to get started, a, some clips here, I'm guessing for if you want to use your own collar. Yep, you can just clip it onto your own collar. Uh, you have another one here, kind of like a strap style, very similar to like an Apple Watch almost. Uh, your charger cable and then some poisonous silica gel that dogs do not need to eat so do not feed them this is not a treat that's what's included and we will see what's inside here he's trying to open up each little attachment there my goodness so i have all this packaged up so Papa doesn't keep eating everything there's a bit of plastic that uh, he got and uh we are going to take a little bit more in depth on how to set up and what the app looks like so let's go inside but so now that we are inside, you can see I've unpackaged everything here. Um, this only has the uh, USB uh, charging cable there. So they're kind of taken after Apple and not including the brick with it, which I'm fine with. There's always an extra brick around. Uh, so pretty much you would just see that little latch here, click it, you'd be able to unscrew it, pop it out, and that's where you would charge it. And Falco is actively trying to eat the plastic. That is going to be mine, thank you very much. So all I'm gonna do is take this, plug it in. I am viewing it through the iPhone, so bear with me. Like that, there we go. And then I will find a block, plug it in, and then we'll head to the app. So now we have the app here open and it's currently charging. You can see the amber light indicating that it's charging right now. Um, so now let's go ahead and head and get it started. This is going to be the Yes. Have that selection here. Are you home? Um, it states that um, your whistle device should be set up from home. From the home that you share your pet with, uh, the setup can take about 20 minutes. So, yes, at home. Make sure that it's plugged in. It is twice. And it's at least five feet away, which it's really close, so there shouldn't be an issue here. It's actually over here. There we go. Success. It's now paired with your phone. So let's go ahead and continue. You can hear Falco in the background with his toy. <laughs> Pet name, we're gonna go ahead and put Falco. And there we go, Falco. Next, Falco is a dog. He is a male. And is he neutered? <coughs> no, he is not. He is a husky. Oops, I'm looking, I'm viewing through the camera here, so bear with me. He is a Siberian Husky. Alrighty here. Uh, he is roughly eight months old. And he weighs, I believe, 47 pounds from the last time I checked. And let's add a photo of Falco, so I'll find the best one now. 
Okay, so now after that personal information, uh, email address, pretty much uh, password you want to set for the account, now it's asking up to set up a safe place at home. Uh, safe place is a GPS boundary that is safe for Falco to roam. Uh, so when paired to Wi-Fi, it, considers, um, it conserves um, battery life, keeps your device up to date and syncs with Falco's data regularly. So now I will connect to home Wi-Fi as well. Okay, so now after getting the Wi-Fi up and set up as well with the password and all of that, now we're creating the GPS boundary for Falco's safe place here. Uh, so pretty much they'll notify you when Falco leaves this boundary. Uh, you can set up more safe places later as well. So let's go ahead and set it up. Okay, so just because it shows an exact maps of your address, I wanna go ahead and take that portion of it out. So now we're at the enable notification stage. Uh, this is pretty much uh, when you get notified if Falco leaves uh, his safe place. Uh, what we did was we pretty much did like a geofence. Uh, we put the exact portions of where he's allowed to roam and where he's not. Uh, it's done in a nice uh, square or rectangle, depending on your preference here. Uh, so now let's go ahead and put, of course, for the notifications. If it'll tap it, there we go right here and so now it is activating it can take uh, 10 to 30 seconds okay perfect and then the setup is going i'm not sure what that blue light flashing means but i had some issues with pairing it with the bluetooth device uh, went out of it and then now it says uh, falco smart device is now active welcome to the whistle pack okay, now let's explore how whistle go explore can help you understand falco like never before there we go now that light is uh, soft blinking, attach and detach, which we've already went over. To press the side button as well, get escape alerts, <laughs> locate and track Falco. And so it updates the location every 15 seconds. Now, uh, I did hear about this, and so the 15 seconds, uh, I would love to be able to have it a little bit quicker. Um, I know Tractor has it, I believe, every one to three seconds, so uh, we will be doing a review of one of those uh, shortly. Uh, so let's see here and then keep tabs on Falco's fitness so you have the calories burn the distance of miles uh, the how, amount of hours of rest that he gets um, achieve fitness goals based off Falco's breed age and weight plus monitor calories burned distance traveled at uh, minutes active and more okay get important health insights so you can see here uh, scratching uh, any of the bad behaviors you can see how frequent that is after seven days we'll get notifications about Falco's health uh, based off of the data captured by his whistle device. Uh, notice severe scratching or licking. Uh, contact a vet directly from the app. Now, uh, with this app here, you do get, I believe, 24-7 access to a vet. Uh, any questions or concerns you have uh, with your dog or maybe something he's eaten or something that's happened or behaviors, you can get in contact with a vet directly from the app, which I love as well. And so that's pretty much it. And there we go. You can see our little address there or where, they, where he's currently located. Um, and you can see all of this information. So uh, that's pretty much it. We're gonna probably cut to some scenes of Falco wearing it uh, while going on a walk. So that's pretty much it. Thumbs up, pretty easy setup, and it's still charging, perfect. Now this has finished charging. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on Falco, take him for a walk so you guys can see how it looks. And then all you do is put it on. You ready to go outside? Let's go outside, bud. So now this is him wearing it. He's attracted to the wild rabbits that are loose there. But come, come here. Ugh. See, real life action. Pretty discreet, especially for a big dog. Smaller dogs, they do stick out a fair amount, but that is the collar. I'm gonna show you what it's like in the app now. You can kind of see the size comparison. There's a little uh, strap for something else. And his little hook there. You have a nice big uh, thing. Hi, Viz. I'm not sure if it's reflective or not, but we'll test it at night and see. Now it's just putting it on him if he allows me to, because he'll try to eat it. Oh my goodness. 